All right, so floor three. This is where things really, really heat up. Now all the mobs are really scary. You really need to make sure your deck is pretty good. Um, fortunately, the talent that you get on floor three, you get to choose from some really good ones. So now I get a get out of jail free card, or I can choose up to three cards. <coughs> Curses. Delete them. Ooh, that's so good. Having my great bow hitting for two. And all my other physical sources hitting for an extra one. I'm all physical right now. And so I think I have to take this. No, I took that, but uh, I'm a little scared because this guy's physical immune. So if he traps me, that's going to be all she wrote for this run. Fortunately, there's another guy I can fight. It's fine, treasure. Hopefully there's something good. Action. Definitely good. Oh, and Pierce. This is sweet. <laughs> so now I have an out if I have to fight the the guy who's physical immune. So Pierce does um, 10 damage and ignores all defenses. Alright, so let's fight the Banshee. Mm -hmm. So both my cooldowns are up. Mm -hmm. So it kind of stinks that I don't have my Great Bow starting in play. I really wish I had it. But what can you do? So her special ability is she's taking half from physical. Um, it's not rounded up. I'm getting an extra one from the talent that I took. So that's why my attack ones are actually doing something. And... Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, so she's going to level me up, so if I don't have to use my cooldowns, I don't want to. So I think I can beat her with just 24 health. Let's see. She makes me discard too, but that's not so bad. Get rid of those curses. Now I have the Great Bow in play, so that's going to be doing a bit of damage. Okay, we get Slice. Oh, that was a mistake. I should have played the Expose first. That loses. That's two damage lost. Okay, so can she do 16? Um, if she gets 4 attack 3, she's only going to do 12. So I should be safe. Huh. I should be safe, but I think she has some card that can do a little bit more. Than, I think she has like some cards that do 5 instead. Okay, we'll discard these two. Yeah, that was it. That card does... 5 and heals her for 5. So Pierce hits her for 10, that's really strong. Um, I think I should just be able to kill her now. Let's see. Yep, that should do it. So I get a treasure chest. Okay. Level 9. Hmm. Okay. 10 health. Health is always good. Health is always a safe choice. Um, sidestep really doesn't go with the deck because of the Great Bow. Um, if I played this, it wouldn't double the dice's damage, it would double the Great Bow proc from the sidestep, so I have to go with health. Wow, another expose. I think I want that. Yeah, let's do it. Uh oh, scary. A ghost jumped me. All the guys who jump you are scary. Not just because they jump you, but they're kind of hard too. So, he's going to prevent the first card I play, so I want to make sure that's kind of useless. I think attack 3 is probably going to be my most useless one. I want to get the Great Bow out there before I play anything else. Frost Shape gives me a little bit of defense. And now let's play the cycling game. Oh no! So exhaustion, if I play a fourth card it stops. He doesn't always have exhaustion in play, he was just lucky they had it that turn. That turn was going to be sweet too, so... That's really lucky on his part. Hopefully he doesn't have it again. Let's make sure I get this pierce on him before he exhausts it. Hamstring too. Maybe I'll make him discard something. And it did! It'll make him discard. Hide, yeah. So that worked out pretty well. Um, yeah, let's go through this cooldown. I want to get as much in on this dice as I can. Well, that's not really a whole lot more. It is what it is. Hmm. 
Hmm. So if he has the exhaustion, this is not the right play, but I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope that he doesn't. Oh, doesn't look like he does. Unfortunately, I don't have any mana to play Frost Shape. I can only play it once, and I redid that. Alright, and this should be all she wrote for the ghost. Well, maybe. Yeah, that should be it. Okay, treasure chest. Come on, give me something good. Skewer, now that's a great card. This is one weaker than um, Expose, but it cycles. So, actually I think it's a lot better of a card. Even though it weakens them for one less. Goblin Hoarder... Hmm. Yeah, I should be able to kill him. I have so many um, different sources of damage that I'm going to waste a lot of his... Uh, whatever they're called. Cowers. He always cowers. He also has... He also has... Um, exhaustion, so I need to be careful how I play. I need to make sure I get my pierce out as soon as possible. Mm. So... I'm gonna run out the circle. Let's see if he has exhaustion. He does not. Okay, so now I'm safe. So I need to try and get in as much damage as I can. So let's expose. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. And that should do it. Yep. Awesome. 24 gold. That's not really a gold mine. Usually he drops more. Warrior level 9. The warriors are scary. They are very scary. Mm. So I've been making a mistake by having my Dancing Skimtar equipped. I really should have equipped the Great Bow. Great Bow is going to do a lot more than 3 damage on my turn. Um, usually. Okay, so I have my cooldowns. So I have a little bit of breathing room. Uh, that sucked. Um, and that sucked too. Usually hamstring will get something. Oh, and he dodged my pierce. He has 20% dodge and that's the one he dodges. My attack ones go through. Well that turn was really disappointing. Um, huh, I'm kind of scared this turn. But I know he doesn't have any action cards, and his action cards are the most scary, so should be fine. Wow. Okay, this might be really, really close. I don't know if I'm going to be able to survive, but let's see. So, we'll definitely get out the frost shape. Give me a little bit of defense. And Slice needs to draw me something good. That is probably not it. Uh, Troll Hide will get me a little bit more defense. So, there's one curse, two, three. So there's only one curse left out of the rest of my cards, so my next turn should be really good. I'm going to save this turn, this cooldown for that turn, and use my invulnerability right now. So, let's hope that this is a really good turn for him, since I'm not taking any damage. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, wow. He made me discard my whole hand. Wow, at least I'm invulnerable that turn, but I don't know if I'm going to survive. Let's see. If he hadn't made me discard my whole hand, I probably could have killed him. Ah, oh, and that's it. Wow, well that sucks. I probably could have killed him if he hadn't made me discard. So I can spend some achievement points to restart, but I don't really think I have what it takes to beat the warrior. The warrior is really hard. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I know I did. I got lots of achievement points, so I'm getting some new stuff unlocked. And I can go to the achievement store and unlock some other things. Um, anyways, uh, this is Dream Quest. You should pick it up in the App Store.